Tango flight, this is ringleader, check in. Dragon fighter, ringleader, check. Cougar, check. Bulldog, check, I'm ready to play. The captain has turned on the no smoking sign. Please return your tray tables to their full upright position. We are approaching checkpoint Zulu. Ended inbound, 600 knots. Dragonfly, take them out. Roger, sir, I'm on my way. Bandit closing, set to engage. Roger, searching. He's on my tail, six o'clock. Power up, power up. He's engaging me, he's engaging me. Breaking left, he's still on me. Come on, come on. Dragonfly's got you targeted, get out of there. Bitch, he's all over me! He's got luck! He's got luck! Angel, request confirmed kill. Affirmative, Black Angel, your kill confirmed. Roger, moving to Angel's 10. Okay, Dragonfly, that's it. Party's over. How'd I score, sir? Not particularly well. We'll get you some more time on the simulators. Contact GCI, return to base. Black Angel, this is Ringleader. What am I gonna do with you, huh? Keep shooting down my boys. That's my job, sir. Yeah, well, you're too good at it, Eddie. Give them some room to breathe. Don't pop them right away. They need the training. Black Angel copies. Okay, Bulldog, your turn. Get in there and mix it up. You got it, Colonel. Black Angel, you finally met your match today, pal. You're dead meat. Be lucky this ain't real, cause I got it today. Oh, the pack? What is this, a game of chicken or something? Eddie, Bulldog, what the hell's going on? dead.
Gentlemen, basic head to head. This morning up there, you got a taste of the real thing. Now, I know it's scary as hell, but be grateful you got a chance to experience it. Because as brilliantly as I can train you, I cannot totally prepare you for the unexpected, except to warn you, the unexpected will kill you. Ah, uh, Captain Gordon. Sir, you want him to see me? Let's break for lunch. Uh, we'll take another crack at the Sims at 1400. Next chance in the air. Modified zoom maneuvers, Monday afternoon. What the hell is wrong with you? Sir, come in at a rookie head on. You had the poor bastard pissing in his pants. Sir, I utilized enemy tactics in an effort to destroy my opponent. Those are the orders you gave me, sir. But it's an exercise, Captain. I do what you trained me to do. I fight to win. Eddie, this is fighter weapon school. It is not real air combat. You gotta pull back. The kid wants to file a formal complaint. Says you almost killed him. Now, I know you're an excellent pilot. Just how close were you? There was no danger. Okay, I'll talk to him. But you better be more careful. We're all on the same side here. Then, sir, who's the enemy? What does that mean? Nothing. Sir, I'll be off the base for a few days. You have plans for the weekend? It's my birthday. Ah, happy birthday, Captain. Thank you, sir. Some sweater. I hope it fits. It's very nice. Thank you. There you are, son. True, we haven't been hunting in quite a while. You being so busy, maybe this season. Thanks, Dad, it's really good. Thanks. I don't want that disease in my blood. I don't want it in my mind polluting my mind, making me do things that are wrong. I need to be set free. I need to be delivered. I say to the Lord, Lord, bring peace into my body. Bring peace into every cell of my body. But sin, sin is coming. The prophets tell us.
There you go, Ace. So, uh, what have you been up to all day? Uh, nothing. Just driving around. Did you get in some shooting? Yeah. How's the scope? It's great. Uh, we'll be having a barbecue later. Sausage, ribs, stuff like that. Uh, trust you'll do the honors. Nobody makes a better fire than you. Sure. Ready for the meat? Almost. Did you invite anyone for dinner? Nope. There's just so much meat, I thought maybe you might be seeing somebody. No, I'm not. It's too bad. It's true, your career is the most important thing. I guess you figure that after all your hard work, you don't want to get tied down or take any chances. We're very proud of you, especially your father. You know how much he wanted to be a pilot. If it hadn't been for his eyes. I know. You did all the work here, Ace. Aren't you gonna eat anything? No, I'm not really hungry. You haven't eaten anything all day. Of course you're hungry. Twelve, John. Those are gonna be Seven my and twelve are a perfect pair. So all right. Front door Ooh. on your house. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful front door with the stained glass. Mm -hmm. Now, Darlene, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. You're well on the way to building that dream automobile of yours. Pick <laughs> your two numbers. Um. Eleven and three. Eleven and three. Are they a perfect pair? Yes. All right. <laughs> now you put four tires on that beautiful oh. car of yours. You're on your way. Remember, the trip to Paris is what you're all going for here. Uh, yeah. Tim, it's up to you now. Okay. You're building that boat. Right. That pleasure yacht of yours. Oh, uh, I want Pick that boat. Pick your two numbers. Geez. Uh, let's go with number two. And, Where are you going, dear? Uh. Uh, number six. Two and six. Let's I'll be see right if back. two and six are a perfect pair for Tim. No, I'm oh. sorry. Oh, you got a clunker that uh, time. Two and six didn't make it. Oh. But you're still well on the way. Okay. All right, David, back to you for two more numbers. Okay, I know I know that uh, I know that eight's gotta be one. Let's go with uh, thirteen. That's right, thirteen. Eight, eight, and, eight, eight, yeah. eight and thirteen. You're right. <laughs> you put your beautiful right. windows all the way around. All right. Uh, now, Darlene, you're next. <laughs> Take your numbers. Okay. Pick carefully. Um, how about seven and fourteen? Seven and fourteen. Everybody's choosing <laughs> a scary lucky number here. Seven, thirteen. Seven and fourteen. Uh -huh. That's your choice. Yes. Is that a perfect match? Yes, it is. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, that puts the right. cylinder engine right in your own. All right, David, you're up next. Two numbers. Well, uh, I'm going to go with two. Hello, Captain. Restful weekend? Yes, sir. 
Good. Because I lit a fire under my boys. They're going to be all over your ass today. You sure you're up for this afternoon's flight? Yeah, of course, sir. Because okay. I can sub Jackson if you prefer. No. Uh, sir, I'm looking forward to it. Great. That's just you've been a little um, preoccupied lately. Is everything okay? Well, frankly, sir, you know, I don't like to talk about myself, my problems. But you've known me a long time, right? Three, three and a half years now, since you were my student. It's just that sometimes I wonder about myself. I know what I'm doing, right? I mean, you think I'm doing the right thing. Of course. Eddie, you're one of the best. I don't think there's any pilot who works hard. Maybe a little too hard. The others don't care for me. They never have. You're not here to be loved. You're here to be the best. This isn't a popularity contest. You've always kept an eye on me, haven't you? Yeah. You're the one to watch. I'm the one. Hmm? Thank you, sir. See you up there. Give him hell. <clears throat> yes, sir. Thinking about grounding him? No, I think he'll be all right. Your call, Matt. Let me see how he performs today. Hi, Kevin Gordon. How are you doing? Fine, fine. Uh, did you have a good weekend? Wild times. Read a book, cleaned the kitchen. How was yours? Fine. It, uh, it was fine. We need a couple of changes made to the flight manifest for this afternoon. Uh, Colonel Ryan wants you to plug him into the computer and send the changes over to maintenance. Hot missiles and explosive shells? Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to fly some target runs over the gunnery range. Why are we only loading your plane? I guess somebody thinks I need the practice. An ECM pod? Why do you need a radar jammer? For realism. Wait a second. Ryan can't want iron bombs. He must have made a mistake. Let me check with him on this. Don't.
Uh, call up a BDU. BDU? That's a dummy bomb. Yeah, do it. Okay, now bring up the serial numbers in the storage weapons area. I change the serial number on my BDU to AF stroke 463908 stroke SW. That's a special weapon. Oh, Jesus, I can't do this. I mean, I mean, it won't fly. I'm not authorized. I'm authorizing you. I can't load a tactical nuke on a training flight. It has to go through SAC. That's not your problem. I can't. I won't. You shoot and everyone will be in here. supposed to be a mode 2 dummy bomb well it's not we're talking serious problems here sir this is a mode 1 SW series we don't normally mount these on mirages they don't have the proper release system okay uh, couldn't we just forget the extra pins and uh, mount it on a conventional bracket I guess I could it's not like you're gonna drop it or anything. I mean, it's a dummy. What's the point? <laughs> uh, you got me, Sergeant. I uh, just following orders like everybody else. I don't get this. It's got to be a mistake. Why don't we put on a mode two? No. Uh, no, you better stick to the manifest. Uh, intelligence had a hand in it. Military intelligence. It's like jumbo shrimp. You know what I mean? 
Hell, they don't pay me to think. Nice shot. Let's see that kind of concentration in the air today. I'm gonna kick butt today, sir. I appreciate your fighting spirit, Lieutenant. Especially considering your dogfight scores have been so pathetic. Maybe that's not our fault, sir. <laughs> Ooh, it's the Black Angel. Yeah, well, Captain Gordon's good. But so are the rest of you. Or you wouldn't have made it this far. The difference is when he's up there, he believes it's real. That's because he's a nut. You're out of line. Gordon does what you've all got to do. Take this seriously. It is not a game. You are either a fighter pilot or you are a target. The choice is yours. Now, I'm not here just to teach you to score kills. I am trying to teach you how not to die. And believe me, gentlemen, up there, dying is easy. Now hit the showers and suit up. You say there's an older son. Do mm -hmm. you have any idea where he might be? Black Angel, prepare to leave last chance. Number one, you're cleared for takeoff. Uh, Black Angel, affirmative, clear for takeoff. Black Angel, this is Ringleader. Do you read? Over. This is Black Angel. We'll read you, Colonel. Loud and clear. We are entering the area at this time. Prepare for engagement. Roger. Bandit approaching at Angels 2-2 two, two and climbing. Bearing 170. Bring later, this is Dragonfly. I got a good paint on him. Ready to break on your signal. Hold on, Dragonfly. Colonel, this is Bulldog. Request permission to engage Bandit. Dragonfly's up first. Let me take him, sir. All right, Bulldog, permission granted. But remember, this isn't a grudge match. Keep your cool. Yes, sir. Jesus, that's horrible. Of course, we'll inform him right away. Soon as possible. Right, we'll send him right over. 
Thanks for calling, Detective. Captain Gordon's family. They've all been murdered. Oh, my God. Should I recall him? No. But let him fly. I'll break the news to him after he's landed. Son of a bitch. You want to head on? We'll play it your way. Come on. Come on. Yes. Cougar, return to base now. Black Angel, come in. Come in, Eddie. Get it. Talk to me. Don't jam me, Eddie. Control, this is ringleader. We have a plane down. One of our planes is down. We have a possible loose cannon situation. Do you read? A renegade pilot. Colonel, we have a problem. Where the hell is he? I got him! Coming in on my six! Colonel, get him off me! Steady, Dragonfly, listen to me. Dive, Dragonfly, dive! He's got tone! He's got tone! Break right! Break right! Ringleader, this is command. Come in. What's going on up there? I need to speak to you on secure voice. Switch to Winchester backup. Over. Switching now. Winchester. Control. Do you read? Affirmative, ringleader. Bill, we have a definite loose cannon situation. Black Angel is armed. Jamming radar, two planes down. We're sending ducks up here. No weapons at all. Matt, for God's sakes, return to base immediately. That's not advisable, Bill. I think he's got bombs. Is red flag hot? I'm gonna lead him into the SAM range. The range is hot, but this is a negative. Repeat, negative. Any planes on alert? No, sir. How long to generate an armed flight? 15 minutes, minimum. Do it. Yes, sir. Also alert the red flag SAM installations. Sir, the SAMs could take out Colonel Ryan as well. I know. Eddie, listen to me. I don't know what's going on in your head, but I want you to return to base. Do you understand me? I want you to bring your plane down now. Come on, on me. I can't take him. Jesus. Eddie, listen to me. You don't know what you're doing. Bring your plane down. We'll talk about it. For God's sake, Eddie, we're not the enemy. We're all the enemy. Jesus! 
Lord, you got another one. He's in range of the Sam's now, sir. So is Ryan. Good. Three men are dead. I don't understand. Why are you doing this? Why? I have to, sir. This is what it's all for. This is why we're here. Bill, I'm on his tail. I'm gonna run him into the sands. Very good, Colonel. You got me. I'm dead. Okay, I'm over the range. Fire the Sam's. Fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. What? The angel, sir. I'm him. I'm the one. Son of a bitch. He's got him in Sam range again, sir. All right, tell him to fire. Matt, here they come. Red flag, number three, number five, you have consent to fire. He's taking out the Sams. Christ, he's behind me! He's coming at you. He's fully loaded. I'm going down. I gotta bail out. Good luck, Matt. Record a fix on his last position. Call up a search and rescue team. Ryan's bailing. Gordon, you hear me? You crazy son of a bitch! You hear me? You're gonna die! Somehow I swear I'm gonna kill you! Condition red. Condition red. We're expecting attack at any moment. What about those planes? They'll be up in two minutes, sir. Not soon enough. He's dropping his load. Scramble, blue one. Scramble, blue one. You're cleared for immediate takeoff. Negative, sir. He just took out the runway.
still jamming us, sir. I can't get a decent fix. He may be getting away. Captain Gordon, this is Bedford Control. You are ordered to land your plane immediately. Captain Gordon, do you copy? I've been asleep. Oh, an hour? Richard, look! Where'd it go? I don't know. It looked like it was trying to land. Let's check it out. Valerie, what are we doing? Yeah, I guess you're right. It is weird, though, isn't it? Maybe we should call the cops. <laughs> Breaker 1-9. Breaker 1-9. Does anybody out there hear me? Breaker 1-9, please come in. This is Garrison County Sheriff's Office. Uh, yes. Uh, this is Valerie Dwyer. We saw something on the road near... Don't do anything. Soldier, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Ryan. Sorry, sir. Things are pretty ragged around here. We thought you might be the other one. Yes, sir, I think we ought to get you to a hospital. No, take me to the base. Sir, I really think we ought to get you. That's an order.
You have any tools in the van? Get them. He's hungry. I, I have to feed him. Go ahead. Take him in the van. No. Okay. Put him down. Good. The keys. Go, 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 go! Sit down. Oh, please. You don't have to do that. We're not going to do anything. What do you want? Just tell us what you want. I have work to do. Based on a schedule fuel load, he could be anywhere from the Mexican border to Oregon or as far east as Colorado. What about Salt Lake Center's radar or LA's? No, he was flying too low when he was jamming our GCI sites. They never got a fix on him. How about first strat wing at Beale? They released two U-2s and a TR-1, so we'll have photo and infrared imagery. The problem is they're asking too many questions. TAC wants to keep this in the family. Oh, Christ. Screw the politics, Bill. This is serious. I know. That's exactly why TAC wants to keep a lid on this information. The last thing we need right now is a media leak. Now, Langley released AWACS to us, so if that bastard takes off again, we'll catch him on the airborne radar. As far as landing, we know he could have used any long stretch of highway, a salt flat, or a dry lake bed. At dawn, we're going to concentrate our search in the deserts, we're going to move down to the agriculture areas, and so on. A 40-foot combat jet is not that easy to hide. Gordon's smart. He's not going to leave his ass exposed. What kind of an animal slaughters his own family like that? I don't know, Bill. I don't know what to tell you. The bastard had me fooled. Matt. This is Harvey Glattman with Janik. He just came in from Livermore. Out for the bad news. We think your man's stolen a nuke. Oh, Jesus. Came up on the computer. 
He must have swapped serial numbers with one of your training units. Clever. Fortunately, it's a comparatively small one, 50 kilotons or so. There really isn't anything to worry about. How's that? It can't go off. Look, there's a conventional explosive up front, radioactive fusionable material toward the outside and the plutonium core. Now, on a device of this type, there are eight fail-safe army mechanisms. They're designed to prevent unauthorized detonation. The only way to trigger the weapon is to enter the proper army codes. And I can assure you, your man does not have access to the army codes. But if he dismantles the bomb, couldn't he reconfigure the detonator and defeat the failsafes? Maybe. But then the explosion would be reduced to a fission blast, an A-bomb. Like Hiroshima. Uh, about that size. But he'd also destroy the fuse. The conventional blast can't be triggered once the failsafes have been tampered with. It's a moot point. Opening the bomb is suicide. If he breaches the containment vessel, he'll be exposed to massive doses of plutonium gas. Radiation sickness. How long would it take to kill him? Depends upon duration and proximity. He'd suffer internal hemorrhaging, massive tissue damage. My guess, 36 to 48 hours. Well, that's plenty of time. Besides, Gordon isn't afraid of dying. Well, he's just a pilot, right? How likely is he to have this kind of technical expertise? Very goddamn likely. You're underestimating. Don't you understand? The son of a bitch is on a mission. What? Are you a black man? No, it's nothing sane like that. This isn't rational. He's not going to give us a list of demands. In the air, I heard him praying. Stuff from the Bible. I think he's decided he's some kind of avenging angel. God help us. No. No. It's okay. No, it's not. Uh, please, sir. Um, the wires, they're, they're cutting him. Cut him loose. You can go to the van if you want. You can sleep there. Leave the baby. Oh, no. Please. I, I can't. Suit yourself. Control, this is Aspen 1. No sign of target angel. Request update, over. Negative Aspen 1, no sightings. We're compiling data from local police throughout the target zone. Moving to Great Hotel 6, Aspen 1 out.
Get up. We gotta find a town. Not him. Just you and the baby. I, yesterday, Richard and I passed a town about 20 miles from here. Garrison, I think. We were on our way to Las Vegas. That won't be there much longer. What? Pull over. Pull over. You, uh, know how to hold a baby. Yeah, I had a little brother. Yeah? This is a mistake. What? Making a baby. Making more of us. It's wrong. He's so clean. Yes. He is. It won't last. He'll be poisoned. a lot about that bringing a baby into a world that's falling apart like this yeah but you did it anyway go on keep driving
Um, do, do you take traveler's checks? Yep. Well, put your driver's license number on the back. Pharmacy back there. I'm fine. I need to get back to work. What is it that's wrong with your plane? Nothing. My plane is fine. Well, then what are you working on? For Christ's sake, shut up! Please. Shut up! <laughs> You're right. I need something. Turn around. Um, traveler's checks okay? Uh-huh. do to you? Nothing. It's okay. Who the hell are you? Richard, don't. How long is this gonna go on? Till it's over. Till it all stops. Till I make it stop. Oh, for God's sake. Why don't you just let us go? We won't tell anybody what you're doing. We don't even know what you're doing. I'm bringing him to light. Light of heaven. What are you talking about? Bringing who the light? The diseased. The unclean. The corrupt. The liars. All the dirty sons of bitches. Jesus, I know what that is.
Massachusetts license plate. Nothing from the AWACS, that means he's still on the ground. But he is a new. The one in Colorado is a false alarm. It was a foiled robbery. The guy just happened to look like Gordon. Sacramento, that's a crashed hang glider. How about this one? That's an aborted CB communication of some kind, something about a landing, probably a UFO nut. Wait a second, wait a second. In the same area reported hostage situation. Any resolution? The local cops investigated, but they haven't reported in yet. It's the best shot we've got so far. It's only a couple of hundred miles. I want to check it out. Matt, you've got to take a couple steps back from this one. Look, I know you feel responsible, but you can't handle it all yourself. Gordon has killed people that I cared about. Jesus Christ, Maddie bombed the hell out of my goddamn airbase. Don't you think I want the bastard's ass as much as you do? Emotions only make you sloppy, Matt. Now, this is a military operation, not a personal vendetta. Will that be all? Yes.
should make garrison in about 10 minutes. She say who did it? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, uh, <clears throat> sheriff's not available at the moment, but we'll send someone around. Thanks for calling. So? That was the hospital in Milford. They got a gunshot victim. Woman with a baby. Anything else? Apparently she's been babbling about a bomb or something. James. Where's James? Your baby's fine. We'll take care of him until you're out of surgery. No, somebody's got to stop him. He has a bomb. I, Shh. I saw it. It's okay. I'm not crazy. Shh. Check the IV. Wait. Is that Valerie Dwyer? No visitors now. The bomb. Tell me about the bomb. What do you think you're doing? Talk to me. She has to speak Ooh, to me. He's the light. He, he, he's gonna destroy them. The pilot. Eddie Gordon. Pulse is dropping, Doctor. No worry. We're on our way to Vegas. Excuse me. It's Vegas. It's not there anymore. Please destroy them. It's gonna be okay. Just relax. Close every airport within 200 miles of Las Vegas. Ground anything that flies. The only thing in the air should be the 34th and 421st Tax Squadron. I can't be sure he's coming at Vegas. Are you willing to gamble he isn't? Make the call, Bill. Until the 34th, I'll be dropping in a hill to pick up a plane. I'm gonna fly lead. He's not your responsibility anymore. No, sir, he is my responsibility. And I want him. Control. This is Ringleader. I'm airborne. Come in, over. Roger, Ringleader. This is Control. Listen, you may not have too much to worry about. Our advisors insist that if the package has been tampered with, it will not detonate. He can drop the bomb, but without a fuse, it will not go off. What if he's not going to drop it? What if he's the fuse? What do you mean? Let's say he rides it down, goes kamikaze, blows up his plane. A couple of hundred pounds of jet fuel makes a hell of a lot of fireworks. Is that possible? Can he use the plane to detonate the bomb? I know. He would have to have done extensive reworking of the bomb circuitry. Is it possible? I don't know. Maybe. Ringleader, listen to me. You've got to keep him away from populated areas. Repeat, away from populated areas. Getting shot down may be exactly what he wants. I copy you, Control. Proceeding to rendezvous point. Tango uniform. Blue 04 flight, this is Ringleader. We are in pursuit of an F-21 Mirage, and he is hostile. He will be jamming and flying low on his approach, so keep your heads out and clear. All commercial air traffic in the area has been suspended. We are to pursue and repel from the city, but no shooting. I repeat, do not fire on him. Ringleader, this is Falcon 1. We've been getting a lot of double talk back at base. Could you be straight with us, sir? All right. We are in pursuit of a renegade pilot. Our bandit is hot. Suspected target is Las Vegas. We're dealing with a real situation here. Affirmative, Falcon 1. Did you 
Control to ringleader, come in. Read you, Control. He was definitely in garrison Utah, no doubt about it. Plus, AWACS just picked up a new radar paint. Bandit approaching Vegas from the northeast. You picked it, ringleader. He's all yours. Ringleader copies. Out. Okay, gentlemen, this is it. Let's go tactical and cover the brief patrol points. Remember, this is the real thing. Give it all you've got. Visual contact. This is Falcon 1. I have visual contact with an unknown cowboy approaching below me from the southeast. I am descending to Angels 2000 to verify. Ringleader copies. Use extreme caution. I'm on my way. This is Falcon 1 to unidentified aircraft at 2000 feet. Identify yourself. This is restricted airspace. Identify. My orders are to escort you out of the vicinity. Please fly bearing 235 degrees. Get out of there! He's all over me! Break high, break high, lead him hard left! He's got lock on me! has broken our perimeter en route to city. No one else in range. I am in pursuit. Can you stop me, man? I don't know. Ringleader out. Black Angel, Black Angel, this is Ringleader. Do you copy? Ringleader to Black Angel. Damn it. I know you can hear me, Eddie. This is Colonel Ryan. Come in. Come on, you crazy bastard. What's his heading? Three zero zero. Eddie, this is a mistake. You're not the one. This is Black Angel. Failed to copy last transmission. Please repeat. I said you're not the one. You're not special, Eddie. You have no mission. You have to land your plane. I'm the one. I have the power. I have to use it. This power has nothing to do with you. It doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to any of us. It belongs to God. I'm doing his work. Killing your mother, your father, your family. Is that doing God's work, Eddie? You don't understand. Everything down there has to be destroyed. Wiped clean. It's God's mission. No, Eddie, you don't understand. This has nothing to do with God. It's you. You have to stop. 20 miles to city center. Ringleader, this is General Lindsay at SAC HQ. I am authorizing you to down the target. You have go ahead to fire. You can't be serious. If I hit him now, the blast alone could kill 20, 30,000 people. We're prepared to accept civilian casualties. If we wait any longer, we'll lose the whole city. We've got no choice. Bandit, 15 miles. Eddie, I can fire right now. And end your mission, you understand me? I can kill you right now. 
Why don't you? I want to give you a chance to prove yourself. Maybe you really are the one, Eddie. Maybe you really are doing God's work. Show me, Eddie. Show me you really got the power. Take me out. Damn it, ringleader. What the hell are you doing? Ten miles. I'm giving you the chance to prove yourself, Eddie. You take me out. We'll know you're really the one. You fail, we'll know you're lying. You do nothing and I'll shoot you down right here. You understand me? Four miles and closing. I'm coming around to take my shot, Eddie. You want to stop me, then you come after me. Three miles. It's up to you, Eddie. You prove it or you die. Come on, take your shot. Am I over the bombing range yet? Affirmative, ringleader. Keep the other pilots out of the area. Ringleader, is there any way you can force him to land? No. I have to take him out. Matt, there's no way you can survive if that damn thing goes off. Ringleader copies. Godspeed, Matt. It's over, Eddie. No. Go to hell. detonation of a tactical nuclear weapon over the Nevada desert. Despite repeated assurances from the Pentagon that this atomic accident poses no danger to Las Vegas or the surrounding communities, congressional leaders are demanding an investigation of the effects of the radioactive fallout. In addition to the 36 confirmed fatalities, the Pentagon for the first time today acknowledged two military casualties, a pair of Air Force pilots flying over the area on a routine mission. They've been identified as Colonel Matthew Ryan of Seattle and Captain Edward Gordon of Las Vegas. Ryan, a distinguished veteran pilot, was senior flight instructor at the U.S. Air Force Academy. Gordon, a junior officer with the Academy, was believed to have been on a training exercise when this accident occurred. Funeral services for both will be held at the